A Pocatello murder case that has been described as brutal is now bringing restitution to the victim's family. Local News 8's Cole Sam shows us what's to become of the two young California men now convicted of the crime. Here at the Bannock County Courthouse, we now know the punishment for two California teenagers in the 2019 murder of 87-year-old Arlene Kohler. The court's going to impose the following sentence then. Uh, 27 years fixed with an indeterminate life sentence. This was the sentence handed out to 18-year-old Isaac Rodriguez Romero. 19-year-old Dustin Alfaro was also sentenced to 22 years to life in prison. The two young men had pleaded guilty to the killing of Kohler in her McKinley Avenue home in Pocatello. On March 19, 2019, Satan and his minions rolled into Pocatello under a full moon. Dustin Alfaro and Isaac Romero had earlier chosen to leave California. They chose to partake of drugs and alcohol. They chose to stop in Pocatello. They chose to break into my mother's home and murder her. The victim's daughter, Jackie Harris, was one of many family members to speak at today's hearing. Many expressed their sadness and frustrations with the young men and their actions. It was like being in a there is no way this is happening, not to her. Who would murder an 87-year-old woman? If you had just left through the back door, she could never even have identified you since she was legally blind. But instead, you viciously killed her, stabbed her 55 times, and why? Did you do it because you got some kind of thrill out of it? Was it to prove to someone you could do it? Was it to get into some game? Why? The victim's grandson, Matthew Stallsmith, says he believes his grandmother had years of life ahead of her. Grandma beat cancer. She was healthy. She was vibrant. She was full of life. Not a day goes by, I don't think about my grandmother. And for the victim's granddaughter, Dana Epic, she is relieved that the two men will no longer pose a threat to society. Given their long history of crime and its escalating nature, these two have clearly shown that they are a very real threat to the most vulnerable in society and to society as a whole. Reporting in Pocatello, I'm Cole Sams.